Hi. So uh, this is a uh, screen capture on what it looks like if you want to run a keyboard in a, a program that has keyboard input uh, in Code Envy. So uh, here I actually have a program that's written that uses Scanner. If you haven't noticed. Uh, and scanner would uh, take keyboard input, but uh, because Code Envy is is uh, just um, a web-based um, thing uh, program, I, a web-based IDE that um, uh, compiles and then executes a program, it's hard to get it to uh, take keyboard input unless if you switch over to do something. Uh, so, I uh, just wanna um, I'm gonna actually uh, compile this program and then uh, run it. Um, so while we're waiting for it to compile and, uh, and start uh, start that running process, I'm going to be talking about this. So uh, one of the things you want to do is obviously you want to uh, import the scanner class first, uh, and then inside of your program, uh, my program is called get input, uh, and then you have your static void main method over here. You uh, instantiate the scanner class. So here I have an instance of the scanner class called in, and that's what I'm going to use to take the uh, keyboard input. This program is going to uh, use a while loop uh, to keep taking keyboard input until uh, until I type in the word done right here. So uh, it's going to keep taking e keyboard input and then keep. Um, creating uh, new elements for an array list called words right here yeah so uh, here it is inside of the while loop I'm going to print out uh, enter a word and then take a new line uh, off of the keyboard uh, and then check to see if it's uh, equal to the word done if the input is equal to the word done then we're done uh, if not then we're gonna add an element onto the words um, array list right here uh, when uh, so when we're done with the while loop after we're done then we would have populated the words array list uh, and then uh, what we're gonna do is use a for loop to print it back out again so okay so that's the program that's a get input program that's what we're gonna, we're gonna run uh, in build.xml I've switched it over to run get input and you notice uh, line 27 over here I switched the uh, main class over to get input, so it will run get input. Okay. All right. So uh, it's a let's see, it's compiled. So I'm going to run it now. One of the other things that you need to do, so while it's uh, starting it up, starting up the program and running it, one of the other things you want to do is actually switch it over to VNC before you run it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this right now. Okay. So. Uh, notice that I uh, your programs usually uh, set to Java 7 switch it over to VNC plus Java 7 okay so after you switch it over then do a run okay so now we're gonna start running it so this is gonna take a little bit after you run notice that inside of your runner there's a couple of other tabs right here this is a console so the console is gonna show while it's uh, uh, put it packaging up your uh, your uh, your executable and then uh, and then creating a new um, Unix machine and then sending it over. So th this is the uh, this is the essentially the uh, the cloud environment, right? It's uh, uh, setting up the Unix machine and then sending your package uh, of uh, executable over. Okay. Once that's done, then you can click over. Uh, once it's done, right here. So I'm gonna uh, pull this tab up a little bit more. Okay, uh, application my project booted and reachable. So now we can switch over to the terminal. Okay, now you have a Unix shell input. So now you can take a keyboard input, right? So th that's what happens when you switch over to VNC plus Java 7. Once you have the program uh, running, it's ready for you to do a keyboard executable. Okay, so now you switch over to the terminal. Uh, inside of Unix, you can do a ls to do a listing. Uh, what we want to do is uh, change the, the uh, current directory over into app. So uh, this app right here, this directory. So we want to do a, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to do a CD for change directory into app. Okay. So notice that now we're inside an app. Okay. So now we can do another listing to see what's inside an app. Okay. So inside an app is a jar file, the Java archive file. So this is your executable package. This application, that jar right here, this thing right here, 
this has uh, all uh, everything in your project inside of it but inside there is a file that's going to point to your uh, git input um, uh, the Java object file because uh, you told it in build.xml that that's the file you want to run so what we want to do is uh, in while we inside of this app uh, directory we want to do Java dash jar and then application that jar okay so that's what you want you want you want to type this in okay and then we'll hit return and then now you're starting up the program so notice that now we're in the while loop right now we're inside of this while loop right here right it's uh, it checked that input input we, uh, when we um, first I created it we um, initialized it to an empty string right so that's why this uh, it's it starts up running the while loop because uh, input does not equal to done. Yeah, it's not equal to done because it's an empty string. So now it's going to say in, enter a word and then it's going to start picking uh, keyboard input off of here. So because it's next line, every time you type in a uh, a sentence and then hit uh, return, it's going to uh, come back out and it's going to check and then uh, rerun the while loop as long as you don't enter the word done. Okay, so. Uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do first line. So, receive first line. So, second line. More lines. And then we're going to say last line. And then this last one, we're going to say done now. Okay. It's done. So, it received done. So, now it says it's done. And then it proceeded to the for loop down here. From 25, uh, line 25 on dying, down. It's executing this for loop and then uh, printing it all out, and that's it. That's what you have to do. So after you're done, make sure that you hit the stop right here, stop application, because if you don't stop the application, it's going to keep running, uh, and then we're going to get in trouble because you you're going to run out of uh, processor time. Yeah, uh, so so make sure you stop this. Yeah, stop this and kill the runner right here. Okay, now everything is uh, cleaned up. Uh, so if your program doesn't work fine, then you have to make sure that you stop the application and clean it up. Otherwise, you're going to have four, five, six runners over here that's all listed and they're all going to be uh, uh, taking up processor time while you're um, uh, you're editing and then trying to recompile, stuff like that. If, it do if your application is done for whatever reason, you're done with it or it doesn't run correctly, just go ahead and stop the application and clean up. Alright, thank you.